Hey, it's me. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can jailbreak your device which is running on iOS 12.5. iPhone 6 running on iOS 12.5. But wait, before you click off this video thinking that you need to have a Windows PC in order to perform this jailbreak, just, just listen what I'm saying. Even if you don't have a PC, you can still watch this video till the end because I'm going to show you everything in a simple and easy manner so that you'll know. Once you visit your friend's house, you can just borrow their computer for like 5 minutes. Yes, because you know how to do all things. Then you can just borrow their computer for like 5 minutes and jailbreak your device. It's very easy. I know you can do it. Open any browser of your choice. In my case, it's Firefox and hmm idevice.com your one stop site for all jailbreaking related news why i'm showing you this because all the materials plus resources or you can say downloads required in order to perform this method are linked in a systematic way on my website so you can see all these download links but we are not going this way we are going to install three tools uh, but for those who don't know this is an older post i'm showing this as an example so just search for three tools we don't need to install ubuntu and anything like that click on the big download button and the download for three tools software will start straight away hit on save file and you can see it's downloading depending upon your internet connection it might take several minutes uh, one thing i also want to point out is that you need to have a usb drive in order to perform this method plus a lightning cable which i know all of you watching this video already have because i know you charge your phone so click on show all downloads just double tap on 3 u tools setup and it will take you to 3 u tools hit on yes go back and just click on install and go with the flow everything that comes in just click on it because i have already installed 3 u tools i'm not suggesting you this software this is not a sponsored video or anything like that i use 3 u tools it's a great plus trusted software once you do that the next thing you have to do is just go ahead and go to this toolbox tab then uh, just go to flash and jailbreak rather i'm sorry so just click on jailbreak and you'll see this option again let me explain you again you will open through your tools it will take you to this device section just go to flash and jailbreak which is the fourth option and then click uh, on jailbreak over here then Click on make check range jailbreak USB flash drive. Click on it and then uh, now you need to plug your pen drive in your PC. I already did so. I'll just click on start making. Hit on yes and all data in your pen drive whether that's your videos, photos and anything like that in your pen drive will get deleted. So don't say I didn't warn you just put everything from your pen drive to your PC perform this jailbreak and then just just uh, put everything back to your pen drive and this is really important it will say you you need to format your desk before jailbreaking just click on cancel just go on this windows icon and shut down your pc why we need to shut down our pc because now we need to boot from our usb stick i know you can do it it's very easy if you follow this guide and if you want to jailbreak your device and get some cool tweaks you gotta do it just boot on your pc while rapidly pressing a key to enter in one time boot menu for me it's f12 and you can see preparing one time boot menu and how on earth you know which is the key to enter in one time boot menu for your laptop just think as i already told you idevice.com everything is mentioned over there plus you can check down in the description below i've linked a full article not my article I've linked a full article with all the keys in an order to enter in one time boot menu for Dell laptops it's basically F12 just just check it there and I know you can just enter in one time boot menu under UFEI boot you have to select your pen drive's name okay this is really important uh, for me this screen this windows this user interface is different for you it might be different because we both do not have same laptops we both have same interests in jailbreaking but we don't have same laptops so you gotta do this step on your own just you have to figure this on your own and this will basically take you to check in after a few seconds so uh, i just like take it closer and you can see it says welcome to check rain and then press alt plus f1 to go to welcome screen so you need to press alt and f2 and boom welcome to check me and now here 
we need to plug our device and jailbreak it. Again, many people think I'm faking these videos and whatnot, but I'm not. Now at this part, you bring you need to bring a USB stick. Well, not USB stick. You need to bring a lightning cable. Uh, again, I'm telling you, make sure to bring a high quality lightning cable. Uh, my camera just doesn't want to focus. So make sure to bring a high quality lightning cable because if you don't do so, uh, check rain will not work and you will not be able to jailbreak your device. I'm gonna show you how you can jailbreak, unjailbreak and all sorts of cool stuff. So now this is really important. You need to plug your device uh, with the lightning cable. And if you don't know how to plug your device with the lightning cable and you're watching this video, I'll link a full tutorial down in the description below on how you can plug in your device. Okay, once you do that, this is really important. Uh, if you're watching this video right now, because many people just click off the video in between, so I really appreciate that. Now you can see it's prompting us to trust our computer and this is really important. Many people miss this step and just simply blah, 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 jailbreak their device and whatnot. You can see iPhone 6 iOS 12.5 is connected in normal mode because it is supported. You want to go to options and just leave everything as it is. Do not mess up and do not enable quick mode because it's really dumb. <laughs> it won't let you jailbreak your device. And yeah, so the next thing you got to do is remove any kind of case cover you have on your iPhone because now we need to hold our iPhone in a comfortable position so that we can easily enter our device in DFU mode. So we'll go back and now we'll hit on start. Uh, you have to use these arrow keys on your PC in an order to navigate around click on next and it will enter your device in recovery mode again as i already told you and as i already say it in all of my videos do not worry nothing will happen to your device the most that can happen while jailbreaking is your device will boot back to ios and you will not be able to jailbreak just try again and you will be able to jailbreak now this step is also very important uh, basically checkerin will automatically tell you based on your device how to enter in dfu mode for me it's an iphone 6 so i have to press the side button with home down button which is this home button and yeah i'll just quickly go ahead and do so i'll just hit start and then just hold these together and I have to release the side button but I have to keep holding the home button. You can see on this screen it's telling us everything we need to do. So we are fine here. Just follow. Uh, it will automatically tell you based on your iPhone or iPad. And now you can see our device is booting up. And you can see this fancy check screen, screen with all the crazy text on your screen. This is jailbreak. Our device is being jailbroken and everything should go fine and now we can install tweaks we can do all sorts of weird stuff to our iphone and you can see all done but uh, that's not how sweet it is so you can see my phone is here i'm not even touching it i'll just keep it at this side so you guys can know and i have to talk to you a little bit so if you face any error code such as error 79 or error whatsoever the thing you have to do is redo the whole process and plug your USB in a different port. This is very, very, very important. You might face some errors. So I'll just quickly go to the other screen and there is no check ruin right now. Why? Because we have to wait for a little bit in an order to install check rain. It will automatically bring check rain. So we'll wait a little bit and you can see it instantly appears. So. I'll just quickly take it and move it to this side so that it's easy for me to access. I'll open Checkrain. I'll just quickly turn on cellular data or you can use Wi-Fi. Um, but iPhone 6 on iOS 12.5 has some poor connectivity and connectivity issues. So for the sake of this video, I'm using cellular data. And you'll see Cydia. We'll hit on install and you can see it's downloading base system. And many people, after they jailbreak their device, They'll plug their iPhone 11, their iPhone 12, thinking that every device can be jailbroken following the same tutorial. No, you cannot do so. You can check out my channel. I make videos related to jailbreaking. And now you can see it's downloading Cydia. It's installing Cydia. Everything should go fine now. And the best part, I'll just keep it at a side. You can see it's installing and downloading everything. And we'll fast forward this step. But the best part, we didn't even use this macbook to jailbreak our device and you can see 
it automatically exits check rain and we have Cydia over here. Now we can open Cydia and I'll show you the proof that this device is again running on iOS 12.5. We open Cydia and it's loading and we'll scroll all the way down, let it load and you can see here if I can focus iPhone 7 2 which is basically iPhone 6 and the software version which is iOS 12.5. And now we have successfully jailbroken our device. Now you can have fun installing some cool tweaks, do all sorts of weird stuff on your iPhone. And I'm really excited to install some tweaks on my iPhone too. So I catch you all very soon. Uh, drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Windows content. And one more thing I want to mention is that now how to get back. Hmm, you are stuck in this check rain thingy. How to get back to Windows? Just long press the power button and just press it for like 10 seconds and your laptop will go completely black. Nothing really happened. Just again boot back and this will now boot in Windows. Nothing happened. Everything was successful and it even vibrates our device because uh, the device established a connection with the Windows PC and you can see this windows animation and everything should go fine now our device is also being charged and yeah that's been it thanks a 10 for tenoshare for sponsoring this video and i'll catch you all very soon peace